Holy moly, I think we got Alan Bean back online. I think he's going to do another interview with me. It's hard. He don't like talking to me, but he's a stubborn old bastard, so let's see what he says. All right, Alan, I understand you guys are coming in like hauling ass at 17,500 miles an hour to the moon. I mean, you guys got to have some kind of brakes and shit or something. This rocket engine's got to be able to slow down or do something, but you, you explain. Uh, engine that descended to the moon. The rocket engine? Yeah. The rocket engine that we used to descend to the moon was uh, a very simple rocket engine. Uh, it operated at low pressure so that it was like running your car at 30 miles an hour, not running your car like a race car. The, the engines we used to launch from Earth was like running your car at race car speed, you know. So everything had to be just right. Well, Alan... You're saying that your um, engine is running mellow, like uh, not like a hot rod car. Well, you're coming in at 17,000 miles an hour to the moon. You would think that you would have a very powerful engine, a lot of control to be able to slow this thing down from 17,500 miles an hour to zero on the surface of the moon. But uh, obviously... Uh, you guys had her down with such a simple, mellow engine. Now, Alan, did you guys go through the Van Allen belts? I'm sure that's a big question that everybody wants to know. Because it would have probably nuked y'all and killed you, like going through a microwave. But well, tell us about it. The Van Allen radiation belts. No, now, I'm not sure we went far enough out to, to encounter the Van Allen radiation belt. Maybe we did. Now, Alan, this is where I'm calling you out, man. <laughs> you went to the moon. You had to have gone through the Van Allen radiation belts, and you had to have known about it. So, don't bullshit me on that one. God, ignorance is bliss.